I remember. Yeah, so she has seen the pictures and she called me. I didn't answer. She called me almost like 92 times when I was in Deben. I didn't answer any of her calls. Then when we went back to Gauteng, uh, I've called her and I'm like, I've seen your missed calls. Sorry, I was at a vacation. Hey, the girl went crazy. She went crazy. She's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, dude. I mean, you and I are done. You know, you have a boyfriend and I've, I had to find someone. So I found someone, you know, you and I are done. Hey, she didn't buy it. So our relationship went on social media. I was starting to be famous a bit. Uh, and and, and, and I, I love to give credit where it's due. You see this account, you see this Forex broker account that you see right now, it was created by this girl. So Horawari Forex broker killer account might have, it was actually created in 2017. This account, you see this account, it was actually created by her because uh, she was an Instagram person. I didn't want Instagram. So credit to her. Because now I have almost 269,000 uh, followers. She's the first person who created uh, the account for me. I didn't know how to create an account on Instagram. Uh, I, I didn't care about Instagram. So yeah, credit to her. All thanks to her. Now, the relationship went famous on Facebook and so forth. And... That ex used to see these things and after seeing them, she broke up with her boyfriend because of me. Then she called me. She's like, you know what? Um, I can't do this anymore. I can't stand watching you with another woman. I can't stand it. So I've broken up with the boyfriend. Now let's fully get back together. I'm like, baby girl, it's like you, you are having bipolar like you don't understand it is over keep in mind if you follow my story from the beginning you would remember that i was always getting heartbroken even her she broke my heart before she broke my heart before i i reminded her that baby girl it's over whether you dump your boyfriend you i don't care i found a yellow bone i'm happy with my yellow bone and she didn't understand you know and you know what she did she she tried she tried ruining my life in a sense that she went on on social media and wrote a story right she wrote a story which everything in in in, in that story has been twisted you know, and me coming to think of what we have been through, what I've done for her and everything that we've been through, the least we could do for each other is to call it even at a clean slate, like break up and still not be enemies, right? We, I still cared about her, even though I had a girlfriend at that time, you know, it didn't mean that I didn't care about her, you know? Now, she went on social media. She wrote a story. So, I get a phone call around 11 p.m. They're like, go on Facebook and check what this person wrote. So, this person wrote a story about how we met. You know, the introduction is, is actually true. How we met, how we fell in love. So, she was writing it as chapters, you know. And as I was listening to her story, she's twisting it. Now she's twisting the story. She's twisting the story now. In her story, she's saying this. I met Hopozo when he was nothing. Listen to her story. Now you know my side of the story, I believe. I met Hopozo when he was nothing. Hopozo joined in, uh, joined, uh, started this trading thing. I've supported him. That was the first lie. She never supported me with uh, forex trading, not even once. She never. 
supported me with forex trading that was the first lie she told people uh, we were so in love that was true and then um, she said that i've actually started making money in forex after i've made money in forex i've left her for a yellow bone that's a fucking lie she skipped a scene whereby she dumped me a scene whereby i didn't eat for two weeks i didn't eat for she didn't she doesn't tell people what she has put me through i've lost weight she doesn't tell people that she never supported me with my training now to the public i'm 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 a bad guy you, you see like now i'm a bad guy it's more like she has been there for me supporting me in trading then when i made money i've dumped her and i went for a yellow bone but listening to the detailing of the story how i've constructed it to you guys you'd know that's a fucking lie i was not eating after she she dumped me she doesn't tell people that she's telling people that i've dumped her and before that i've cheated on her when she says i've cheated on her on her she's referring to, to remember there was a little girl that i that i was dating in 2017 the little girl that she told me to break up with so that we can get back together she's telling people that i've cheated on her and i've called her she didn't answer i was calling her so that she can remove the lies she, between me and her it's not even about what you guys think between me and her we knew that she was not telling people the truth that's not what happened now she was painting me as a bad guy on social media you know how bad it is for you to be with a guy when he has nothing then when he has money he starts changing on you he starts getting yellow bones he dumps you as if you're nothing you know so he's portraying me as that guy and that hurt me a lot given the fact that even after she has hurt me i've taken her back for the second time even after she has hurt me. Even after she has hurt me, I've learned to forgive her. Even after she has hurt me, I've learned to do things for her. Still care about her. Right? That pissed me off. That pissed me off. I've called her. She didn't answer any of my calls. Now, the following morning, I've called her. She answered. And I told her that stop what you're doing. She said, okay, I will stop. I'm sorry. She's apologizing. After apologizing, I post a picture of me and my girlfriend, the yellow bone. She writes again, continues with the story. I call her again. I'm like, person, leave your nonsense. The nonsense that you're writing about me, you know it's lies. Now she's fighting. Yeah, what do you expect me to do? You, 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 you. You are, you are leaving me for, for a yellow bone. Do you want me to change my skin color? I'm like, you've had your time. You have had your time with me. Countless times. You've, you've, you've had, you are not patient enough to stay with me until I make it. Your time has passed. It's over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's like, ah, yeah. Continued writing her nonsense she wrote she wrote until now i've lost it and i i i i i called her I'm, i told her that you know what i'm giving you last warning if you don't stop the lies that you're writing on social media i'm going to deal with you you are a small girl you are a small girl she said i'm sorry i will not do it again go every time when she sees me and my new girlfriend she would go mad she will still see me again. After that, she would continue writing. Then I told her that, you know what? That's it. I'm fed up. That's it. I'm, 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 I'm coming there right now. I'm coming to take everything that I've bought for you. I'm, I will start with my phone. I will take my phone. I will take all the clothes that I've, brought for, I've bought for you. I will take every single thing that I've bought for you. And after taking those things, I'm going to bend them while you're watching. 
I'm going to ban them because you are ungrateful. I was not even supposed to do any shit for you. For you, you left me. You, you, le you are the reason why I was broken in the first place. You left me for a guy whom you thought was better than me, only to find out that he's a loser. You made a wrong decision. You left me. You, you hurt me. Now I'm, 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 I'm doing these things just to show you that I still care about you. But you're doing this nonsense. I want everything. I want to ban it. She started crying, saying, no, I will not give you. No, no, no. I'm like, okay, fine. Since you don't want to give me the things that I've bought for you. By the way, I didn't want to take this thing so that I can give them to my girlfriend. No, I will buy my new, my new girlfriend a new phone. I will buy my new girlfriend new clothes. Yours, I will bend them while you are watching. I want to bend them on you while you are watching. She said, ah, no, 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 no. Then I told her that, you know what, it's fine. Uh, you can continue uh, writing whatever nonsense you are writing. It's fine. I no longer care. It's I'm done. I'm done with you. It's, it's it's I'm done. Continue. From that moment, I've cut her off my life officially. Cut her completely. She continued doing her things on the other side. She continued. I've cut her completely. You know because of that. And. Some of you guys might see me as a bad guy, right? Some of you guys might see me as a bad guy for doing that. But the truth of the matter is that we men cannot handle feelings the same, I mean emotions, the same way as you guys, women, right? I feel like you women are much more stronger. You women, you women, you, you guys are much more stronger as women. And then we men, at the same time, we can't get heartbroken countless times. It's going to kill us, you know. We, 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 we can't, we don't have that thing of dealing with emotions and, and all that. You know, we don't have that. So she has had me. To a point that I've even thought of taking my life at some point. You know, that's how deep that situation was. She left me at a point whereby I needed her the most. You know, she, she left me. And it's not fair, fair for her to come back and pretend as if she's never done that to me. Now I'm the bad guy. You, you, you see... Right now, you some of you guys are going to be in similar situations. It's it's part of life. There are, set, there are going to be certain people who are going to be starting with you guys or starting with you. Then they are going to leave you. When they leave you, that's when you need them the most. And then you continue pushing on your own. On your own. You continue pushing regardless. When you make it, they come back and they want to claim a share. That is nonsense. That is nonsense. So that's precisely what happened. Right? Now, uh, my relationship on the other hand, everything was proper. Everything was, was perfect. Uh, now we're going around June in 2017. June in 2017. Uh, June in 2017, we were... We were we were spending a lot of money on transportation. Therefore, I we've agreed that now we need to buy a car, right? Now we need to buy a car. Now every time when this is how we used to trade, me and my boys. If we want something that's worth fifty thousand, the first thing we'd do we'd look at fundamental. That's how we trade. Look at those three GBP events that I've referred to. By the way, they are no longer the same as back in, in 2017. That's why you need to adapt to new things, you know. The market always changes, just like people. People change, by the way, in case you didn't know. So that's how we used to do our things. If we want to buy something that's worth 50000 we'd sit down and say, gents, let us put in 5000 and make 50000 and buy this thing. So we've actually agreed to 
to to to buy a car right so buying a car we didn't know which car are we going to buy exactly we didn't know so what happened was that i we i think we deposited about 10000 because i i i wanted to buy a mercedes benz i remember i wanted to buy a mercedes benz a200 right and i've traded uh i've traded we we, we precisely made about 80 grand 80000 and the mercedes that i wanted was about 300000 right and things didn't balance so there was a next event that we were going in uh, at that event remember we have made 80 i mean 80000 from 10000 deposit right that's how we used to work but even though i wanted 300 so the, i remember we had a seminar a seminar at pretoria uh, yeah we had a, our first seminar in 2017 at pretoria whereby i was trading live with 80000 rents on the market live uh, it was on a friday we were trading nfp i remember i've used lot size 80000 was about i've used lot size 40 lot size 40.00 in front of people trading live at pretoria now i went on a loss of about plus or minus 3000 3000 uh, usd meaning that my account was gonna blow in front of people imagine people have seen your videos now you're trading live they are watching you you can't disappoint them i there was a moment whereby i wanted to scream and cry in front of everyone right but i i i pretended to be strong i told everyone that guys relax i'm used to this keep in mind that was my first time using lot size 40 it was the craziest thing i think that's when that's where i actually started being crazy with lot sizes i think i'm crazy i trade crazy and like when I trade, I don't think that's my problem. I was on minus 3,000, minus 2,000. The account was going to blow either way. And in my heart, I'm like, Jesus, I know I haven't went to church in the longest time. But if you save this Forex account right now, I promise you I will go to church. In the name of Jesus, I was praying in my heart. Remember, it's in front of people. If I blow the account, people will say, ah, this guy is claiming he can't trade. Now, I told everyone that relax. I know this market, it's going to come back. That, that's where I, 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 I learned to have confidence. You see, I, I have confidence in decisions that I take. And I would love for FBK students to have confidence in decisions that they take without having to involve me. I want them to have that type of a confidence that I used to have. I had that confidence, you know. I told everyone that the market is going to come back. Don't worry. The account went to 3.8. It had about 4,200. The account went to negative 3.9. The account went to negative 4,000. Just when I was when I was about to scream and say, "I people and like uh, truly speaking, uh, I'm claiming, ah yeah, yeah, this thing, ah yeah, yeah." Jesus heard my prayer. I would like to believe the market rejected. Now it went from minus uh, four thousand when there was only two hundred uh, to blow. J J, just two hundred equity left. Keep in mind, at that time, at least I had uh, a credit. So the equity, I think it was a bit higher, but the balance was $4.2. But the, the, the equity was a bit higher. So that's why it was not blowing at that time. But normally, it was supposed to blow. I was supposed to lose that 80000 which I wanted to buy a car with. Now, when the market rejected, it went from minus 4000 minus 3000 minus 2,000, minus 1,000. Now it went on a profit. When it went on a profit, people started clapping hands for me. They started clapping. They're like, you are the king. And in, in my heart, I'm like, Jesus, 
between you and I, we both know I was claiming I didn't know what I was doing. Thank you, my Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now, when people are claiming, when people are clapping hands, I'm like, yeah, you see, you, I know this thing. And in my heart, I'm like, yo, Uncle Uncle, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Now, I've managed to make at least $1,000. I've exited in that trade with $1,000 profit. I told them that, uh, hey, the event was not good and so forth. And they understood. They just loved the fact that I had that confidence that I'm not going to blow today. Not, because sometimes, sometimes you must just tell the market when it's going against you, you're like, Satan, not today. I will not lose money today. Not today, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Jesus will listen to you sometimes. But when he doesn't listen to you, don't think there's no Jesus or Jesus doesn't care. Don't, don't blame Jesus uh, based on your reckless trading decisions. After that, when we got home, I told for sure, Fanaka, you see what I've did there? I will never do it again in my life. Let us withdraw the money. That's that's how we bought uh, uh, my our uh, sorry my first car. When I told Fosh that in Fanaga, let us withdraw the money. We've withdrawn the money. That's how we bought a uh, Ranex first car, Toyota Ranex. Keep in mind, the Toyota Ranex was a second hand. It was a second hand car, right? When the money got in, uh, we went, it was Pretoria East. Yeah, Pretoria East. There's like a lot of garages. I think it's East or West. I don't remember, but I think it's West or East, whatever the case may be. Uh, we looked for cars. We looked for cars. And I found a Golf 7. Now, the Golf 7, it was 70000 We had 80000 I wanted to buy it. But the Golf 7 didn't have an engine. So in my head, I wanted to buy the Golf 7 and then I will put my own engine inside. I don't know why I was thinking that. I, it's like I'm not normal. Anyways, uh, Fosh disagreed. He said, you can't buy a Golf 7 while you're still starting, while you're still beginning. Let us buy a car. You see, if there is one thing I respect about my boys, is that each and every one has contributed into me being the person that I am. He said, Mfana, we need to buy a car that we'll be able to maintain. If we buy a Golf 7, first, number one, you must buy an engine. You don't know how much an engine costs. Number two, you must uh, be able to maintain the car. This thing eats petrol. So let us buy a small car that we will be able to afford and the service is cheap. I listened to him. So we got to this other garage. We saw cars, we saw cars, and then we saw a Ranex. The Ranex, they said it's about 60,000, I think. It was about 60,000. We had 80. And we're like, okay, we have a Ranex. And then Fosh negotiated. We bought it for about 55. I think we bought it for about 55,000. First car. First car. You see when people are taking me now, they don't know what I've been through. Hey, eh? uh, we've, bought, I've, we've bought Ranex. First car, 55,000. After buying Ranex, keep in mind, people, I have never driven a car my whole life that time i was how old was i in 2017 i think i was 22 years old yeah 22 years old i've never was i 22 or 21 22 years i've never driven a car in my life ever not even once we got home uh kuto Fosh, they were driving before they knew how to drive so we got home uh i didn't sleep that day uh, I wanted to sleep inside the car. I wanted to sleep inside the car. 
But when I was inside the car, you know, Sosha Nguve, Sosha Nguve, hey, midnight, there are thugs walking around and all that. So I felt oh, it's not safe for me to sleep inside the car. Hey, let me just go to the house. In, inside the house, I mean. So every 15 minutes, I didn't sleep on the first day, 13th of July, 2017. But it only went on social media around a week later. I didn't sleep on, 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 on that day. I didn't sleep. So every 15 minutes, I would look over the window to see if the car is still there. You know? You can laugh at me now. It's funny. It's fine. You guys don't understand. <laughs> you guys don't understand. Right now, there's an M4 outside. There's G63. There's what what. I don't even care whether they are there or not anymore. You know, I've, I'm used to that. But Ranex was my first true love when it comes to cars. I only slept at 6 in the morning. And then I slept at 6 in the morning. I woke up just before 10. First thing when I did, uh, first thing I did when I woke up is that I checked for the car. The car was not there. I checked in Kuto's room, Fosh's room. They were not there. So it's obvious Fosh and Kuto went out with the car. They didn't tell me. I called them. They're like, we're at crossing. I walked from the house to crossing. I walked. So that I can come back home with a car. I didn't know how to drive. So it, it, was, it was such a big issue to me. You know, it was just such a big issue to me. Now, I, I told them that they must teach me how to drive. I told them that they must teach me to how to drive. So here's the thing. I've noticed one thing. It's very rare for a person who knows how to drive to willingly teach you how to drive. Honestly. So I've asked them to teach me how to drive. Those guys, uh, they were not interested in teaching me how to drive. Because they said that driving, it's all about experience. Like it's all about experience. How, how, yeah, how long have you been driving? So now I'm an amateur. So I must watch them drive. That's what they wanted me to do. And I'm like, oh, so I must watch you boys drive. So at that time, Fosh had a, a, a small Skorokoro. Small Skorokoro. It was a Citroen. Citroen. Uh, Citroen what what? Pure Skorokoro, that one. So it was not moving at that time, I think. It needed what, 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 what. So I made sure that I got whatever the Citroen needed. So I would go on YouTube and then I would Google how to learn how to drive. So I would watch videos, teaching, clutch, brake, accelerator, indicate, everything, every normal thing. And then I've even uh, went through K53 just to learn how to drive. Because those guys didn't want to teach me how to drive. Yeah, it was a Citroen C3. So the Citroen, every day at 6 o'clock in the morning, I would go out with my phone on YouTube. I would take out the Citroen and I would teach myself how to drive. I would bend the clutch plate. I guess I didn't know what I was doing. I would, the clutch plate would smell literally. I don't even know what I was doing. Go every day, 6 o'clock. And then when I, I, I get out of Get, when, when I managed to get out of the yard with the car, I always get stuck at the street. So I, I, I always call them. Every day, 9 o'clock in the morning, I call them. They come and take me on the street. 6 o'clock, I, I was just practicing how to drive. Because poverty installs a disease in our minds, right? It installs a disease in our minds. And that disease creates anger, you know. The conditions that I grew up under, I've never had an, an uncle who had a car. My parents didn't have a car. There was nobody in my family who had a car. Do you know a family which does not even have a single car? From siblings, and uncles, aunties, cousins, Everyone in the family is poor. Now I don't know what was wrong with the family. 
Honestly speaking, I don't know what was wrong with my family. Hey, hey, hey. hey we were too poor, man. Hey, we were too poor. So precisely, I'm the first one in my family to have a car. First one. First one. <laughs> ne? So that, that installed anger in me that the people that I grew up if, with, with, their parents used to have cars, they used to drive, uh, you, you know, they were bragging uh, that you can't... Corre, whenever there's an argument, whenever there's an argument about cars, I was not allowed to comment, not because I can't drive, but there's nobody in my family who has a car. You can imagine how painful that was at that moment. When gents talk about cars, you don't have rights to talk about cars because nobody in your family has a car. That was me. So su such things, they created anger in me that the day I afford a car, but that's why even today, hey, I got to hell, ever give a new summon. I ask a witch, which, what is your dream car? My dream car is Audi S3. I go buy two of them. Just in jail for control. No, yeah, but no, yeah. It's because of that. It's, 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 you, you can't come to me now and you would want to change my mind about cars. I still have the anger. It's, it's not really healed. I still have it in... I feel like I'm not done. I feel like I haven't started with these people. You see? So, don't don't blame me when I go around chasing cars and all that. It's There's there's a gap that I'm trying to fulfill. Had I grown up in a family which had a car, I wouldn't be running after cars. Maybe I would be running after something else. But now, it's 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 anger. I have anger in me so i want you guys as my loyal supporters to let me deal with these people accordingly i will deal with them accordingly one by one you see so that that's that's the main reason behind the crazy buying of cars it's like i have i have this open space in my heart and i can only feel it when i buy cars it's like that. And it's not something that you can make me change my mind over one night. It's, it's a process, you know. And there are some of you guys right now who are developing such hatred. You're developing such hatred. The day which you make it in life, you will deal with them as well. You will deal with them. So it's that. If the way I grew up, if it was, if I was allowed to, talk about cars if 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 i had the platform i i don't think i would do things the way i do them now so that was the main reason be behind that so